Hello, 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 and welcome to V. Scott Speaks, where I give you news, poetry, black history, scandals, vlogs, and so much more. Now, I know I'm late, y'all. I know I'm late about Tyler Perry telling the ladies, specifically us black ladies, to date a man that can only pay the light bill and take you out every now and then, okay? Now, people have been coming for his neck. I have some footage here that I'll share of the people and what their opinions has been. I'll go ahead and give mine and let you know how I feel now. I think this is a dangerous message to put out, especially for little black girls that's coming up behind us, teenagers, young girls, and all that. It's a really dangerous message. It's like we all the way back in the day or something, right? Well, actually, the men back in the day were actually men, so I ain't even going to say that. But it's still a dangerous message. It's, it's just a dangerous message. And I can say that because I know a thing or two about struggle love, baby. I have been married to my husband for, it'll be 23 years in December. In December. And when I tell you, when I tell you, I've been through some things in this marriage. I've been through some things with him not working, quitting work, uh, uh, getting fired, and me being a married single mom taking care of the kids. I had to leave him before for four years. And even after leaving him for the four years, when we got back together, I still ended up having to leave him again for a year and a half behind that and then two years another time. And my daughters, they seen this. My sons, they seen all of this go on, okay? So when stuff like this goes on, it hurts the family. You understand me? It hurts the family and it, it leaves emotional scars on the children. I know, I know because my children are dealing with it right now. I have emotional scars and I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I'm not still with my husband because I am, because I am. Now, if you wanna know all about everything, you can come back here another day, another time, and I will give you all the tea, all the tea, the scoop, whatever you wanna call it, about this tumultuous marriage that I have had with my husband for almost 23 years. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead, excuse me, and get into what Tyler Perry said and what everybody else had to say to him. But before we do, let me let you know this. All my children are grown now, all my children are stable, all my children are okay. Yes, they have some emotional issues, yes, because of everything that happened, like I told you, if you wanna know, you have to come back and find out. Probably was on the gummy deal too. Mm -hmm. He was like, meet me at my worst. Yeah. And we were all like, wow. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And 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 anybody who can't do that, that doesn't mean they're not worthy of mm -mm, you. Mm -mm. That means that they need to either attempt, mm -hmm. try, learn, mm -hmm. find out enough about you to be able to figure out what that is. Yes. And that's not money because Yep. Because you listen, a, a lot of women, especially black women, and mm -hmm. I might get in trouble for saying this, but I will. In the in in our society right now, mm -hmm. black women are making a lot more money for the most part than yeah. black men. Right? There are a lot of black men who are successful, but for the most part, black women are making the money. So you, if you can find love, if that man works, you know, at whatever job, mm -hmm. and is a good man. And is good to you, mm -hmm. and honors and honors the house, and honors his wife, and does what he can, mm -hmm. because his his gift may not be your gift. Exactly. That is okay. Mm -hmm. That's not somebody who's beneath you. Yeah. That's somebody who came to love you at your worth, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And as long as he's secure in himself to mm -hmm. know that, yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. As long as she's comfortable enough to say, I'm going to cover the mortgage and all the other stuff. You can handle the light bill, baby. You can take me to dinner every now and then. Mm -hmm. That is fine. Yeah. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, but that's so hard for a lot of people to take in because that means, no, 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 I need somebody to, who is, <laughs> I need, I, they need to make five times more and I got to have, the, I got to have, what well, uh -huh. you keep, go on, keep, looking, go on keep your list, baby. Yeah. God, God bless you. Hope it happens. Go on, keep your list. 
But when you talk about just someone to love you and support yes. you, I, I know people who have, who whose men can't touch what they make. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when you see them together, that love, that support, that that I got you, babe, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing. It is, yeah. it is. Tyler, yeah. and I'm gonna touch your hand when I say this. Go put on your wigs and your heels and come back to me woman to woman because you are speaking from a viewpoint you have never lived out of, honey bunch, okay? You have all this unresolved trauma with your own father, which is why you struggle to hold black men accountable. You yourself have to cosplay a black woman and pander to white America for 30 fucking years just to become the multimillionaire that you are. What I see right now is a gaslighting page right out of Oprah's book. You're scared because you just got this studio and the writers are on strike that when we come back from all of this shit, black women are no longer going to tune into you because we have healed past the point of accepting this type of bullshit as entertainment. I'm willing to bet your entire net worth that you can't make a movie or a television show without the concept of struggle of somebody gotta be on the brink of divorce, somebody mama gotta have cancer, somebody has to have a wicked baby mama from fucking hell. Because what I heard was black women should take care of black men and stop expecting black men to be able to take care of them, which makes perfect sense coming from you because you created Medea to sustain Tyler, did you not? I'd have made it better had you turned around and said black men you need to learn how to submit to black women because I'm not gonna be the provider and he gets to be the motherfucking lead. He's not leading me into debt i make enough money for me but now you telling me i gotta feed two mouths if i could afford it without you i should be able to afford it two times over when i get with you. you would think after painting the black community in such a negative light for the last 30 years you yourself would know that black men are the most insufferable people on the planet when they don't have any fucking funds if black women wanted to settle for something less than what we're deserving of we would simply audition for one of the roles that you're casting for there's black men and black women in my comment section are like going why are you so mad about what tyler perry said i wasn't that hungry but i'm a big bitch so i could eat again number one tyler just took us from going 50 50 which was already unacceptable to 95 5 98 2 one of the biggest problems in the black community right now is y'all want black women to keep breaking generational curses without it affecting black men y'all don't want to have to step up to the plate and be accountable for anything oh so black men are supposed to go 95 5 with the woman who the fuck told y'all to do that y'all are not dating smart either i'm gonna make it make sense for you real quick if i'm making two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year and you're making fifty thousand dollars a year and something happens to me you cannot sustain our lifestyle so guess what like i was already doing when i was providing for both of us now i have to stress for both of us us. Do you see what the fuck the problem is with that? Y'all are acting like Tyler said, oh, the man makes 200K and the woman makes 250K. We're not talking about a $50,000 difference. All he can pay is the light bill. So our mortgage is still going to be due. Our car payments are still going to be due. The water bill is still going to be due. Everything outside of the fucking light bill will still be due. And how is that man supposed to provide for us? He fucking can't. Oh, but if y'all were to go through something, how do you know your man's not going to step up to the plate? So I'm supposed to wait until we're hungry and there's nothing on the plate for him to step up to it. Everything is not about money. You guys are in love. Yeah, we're in love and in fucking poverty great <laughs> Listen, we are not going with the scenarios y'all like to make up in your head to make you feel safe. We're going with what Tyler said. So if you can't stay on topic, sometimes you just got to shut up when you're talking. Is it I try to stay out of black women's business. It's not my business. But as a white woman, I want to remind everyone that Tyler Perry does not care what women think because Tyler Perry is not a straight man. So please don't take Tyler Perry's advice on what you as a woman should be settling for because that man doesn't care what happens in your home and in your bedroom and in your life. As long as she's comfortable enough. This is um, elite CIA mind control. Tyler Perry owns Tyler Perry Studios, which is one of the largest like filming studios in America. Miles of land that he owns and like giant film lots outside of Atlanta. Um, I would say his studio is about as big as a city. Tyler Perry is also one of the few black billionaires that we have on earth and is wealthy enough that he was in conversations to buy BET, which would have cost hundreds of millions, if not a billion dollars. This is a legacy American television station. I do not believe that Tyler Perry, when he's at dinner with Oprah or Prince Harry or Meghan Markle, is having conversations like this. His focus is on becoming the number one production company and media-like conglomerate in America or the world. So it begs the question, why would he take time out of his day to talk about this with his audience when there's so many other things of value that he deals with on a day-to-day -day basis that would educate, inform, and uplift this community that he's preaching to. Media execs do not have conversations like this. Media execs don't talk like this. And Tyler Perry is a is an owner. Like, he doesn't work for anybody. Bob Iger from Disney is not talking about who people in his community should or shouldn't date, especially at, like, that low level that's beneath him. 
Ted Sarandos and um, Greg Peters from Netflix, Reed Hastings from Netflix, they're, they're not talking about stuff like this. And we need to turn this on and be like, why would an, a media executive worth billions of dollars sit down and say something to an all-black all audience about who they should or shouldn't date? Tyler Perry's um, business interests don't align with the intellectual elevation of black Americans, his primary audience. Tyler Perry doesn't know anybody that can only pay a light bill. I don't know anybody that can only pay a light bill. You know, you, do, you see what I'm saying? Like, what? <laughs> I need, I, they need to make five times more and I got to have the- Now, you won't find me talking about the black community because I don't feel like it's my place. Anything I have to say about the black community is based on observation, growing up, going to black churches, growing up in a majority black community, and then having a lot of people in my life be black women. All of that still does not give me a right to say anything over any other black person or black woman's voice. I saw this video of Tyler Perry and I wanted to add my two cents on it from my perspective as a white woman, looking on the outside in. And as someone who regularly talks about sexism and brainwashing and programming and feminism and blah, blah, blah. This video is not monetized and if it is not received well, I will fucking delete it. Go watch that video with Tyler Perry, but there's a reason why I clipped the exact clip that I clipped it at. Notice the tone of voice that he goes into when he's mimicking black women. Notice how instead of addressing their very real concerns and acknowledging their standards that were put there for a fucking reason, he goes to caricaturizing them. He immediately turns them into a joke. And he's built his entire career off this. Black women are damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. They are mocked by their own fucking men and told what they should and should not accept by their own men. And we won't even get into the fucking rest of the world that treats them the way that they treat them. They have to work 10 times as hard to get even a fraction of what anybody else is getting. And now they're out earning their male counterparts and it's their problem? And they should start making compromises? It once again goes back to being their fault? You have to ask yourself why a billionaire such as Tyler Perry is addressing this issue at all. What objective does he have in addressing this issue? And how much do are we expecting black women to continue to carry on their fucking backs? Because at this point, it's it's everything. When will black women be allowed to be women and enjoy their lives and enjoy their accomplishments without always having the fucking fire go to their feet? Again, I don't talk about this very much because it's not my place. I totally understand that. And I can already see the comments rolling in that I'm like, I'm pandering and I'm doing this and that and the other. This is something I'm passionate about, but again, I don't like, I don't want to speak over anyone else's voice. I only want to add if it's, if it means anything at all. And a, a lot of women, especially black women, and mm -hmm. I might get in trouble for saying this, but I will. This may be none of my business, but why is an unmarried drag queen telling women what they need to do with men? An unmarried drag queen. Ladies, don't listen to him. To know that, yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. Sorry, anyone who is surprised that Tyler Perry said this has never seen a play, okay? In any of his earlier movies. I've never seen the Boondocks episode that he sued to get off air because they hit the nail on the head. But it could be found online. You have to look it up. Type in Boondocks. Also, relationship expert, this is the man who posted about being single with the caption, he's in a midlife crisis. He wrote that himself. Tyler Perry's audience for the longest was middle-aged Christian black woman, my mom. A huge portion of all the plays and early movies was about God and the joys and wonder of the Lord. Now he switched up when he started doing these corn TV shows and my mom was even like, what's going on? Cause that used to be her dude back in the day. But Tyler Perry saying this is not surprising at all. This has always been his message. I'm not gonna touch on the colorism, but let's just say rich and usually dark skinned men were the villains and they got saved by a brokey light skin. Women got saved. I don't get where the surprise is coming from. I wanna first say thank you for coming. And also I wanna go ahead and reiterate that I will be sharing my experience, the things that I have been through here on V. Scott Speaks about my marriage. And I'm going to thank you for coming again. And if you would, like, comment, share, and subscribe.